Hello, Darren Steen here from FatLossLifestyle.com. I'm the creator of the Fat Loss Lifestyle 12-Week Body Transformation Program. Here today to role model my favorite exercise, the deadlift. Why is the deadlift so important? Several reasons. For one, with our sedentary lifestyle today, and the computer and driving, we're more prone and disposition to be like this. And a lot of people do too many chest exercises and too many bicep exercises that further compounds the body walking like this. And we don't want to walk like this in our 50s, 60s, and 70s. So, the deadlift is a great exercise that works a massive amount of muscle on the back side of your body, from your neck all the way down to your calves, particularly your lower back. Another reason why it's such a great exercise is because it's so intense that it can raise your anabolic hormones, your growth hormone, your testosterone naturally because the body perceives its intensity and it's a life or death situation. It's one of the greatest ways to get your anabolic hormones boosted. All right, a couple things. Should we use straps or not? Maybe half the time yes, maybe half the time no. Maybe the first couple sets don't use straps and then as you add weight and go heavier, then the hand straps can help you with your grip strength on the bar. The number one way to increase your grip strength is to do back exercises without straps. So I say use them half the time and don't use them half the time. All right, the deadlift's a great exercise, but it can be a very dangerous exercise. You can hurt your back by bending over and picking up a pencil if you round out that lower back. So you need to rotate your buns, stick the, the buns behind you, and tighten up that lower back. When you do that technique during a deadlift, everything gets positive on the lower back and you don't have, the, you lower your risk of negativity. There's many ways to do a deadlift. I'm gonna show you the basic routine that works best for me and my clients. One hand down and one hand up allows us to keep the bar closer to us as we stand versus two hands over. So my like my left hand down, my right hand up. Slowly bring the bar off the rack. Slow little steps back. Feet shoulder width apart. Exaggerate the chest open, blades back at the top. Keep the legs stiff on the descent until the bar passes the knee. Once the bar passes the knee, sit into it, tap softly, blow your air out, and exaggerate the chest open and blades back at the top. That's my unique technique to absolutely feel your upper back trap area more than you'll ever feel it on any isolation exercises. Buns back, breathing in. Ah. Open it up at the top. Down, breathing in. Ah. Exaggerate the chest open at the top. Breathing in. Ah. Open it up at the top. Down, breathing in. Ah. The, the weight barely touches the floor. Breathing in, tap. Ah. Last one. Down, breathing in. That's my basic routine for the deadlift. Make sure you focus on your breathing. Go down nice and slow. Don't bang the weight on the floor. Once the weight lightly touches the floor, stand up, blow your air out, and exaggerate those blades open at the top. It's the, I've been asked several times, Darren, if you could only do one exercise the rest of your life, what would it be? It'd be the deadlift. There's so many advantages. If you do it the right way, you build up big, thick muscles on your backside in no time. But the technique like this, We'll keep it a lot safer than if you just go in and try any technique at all. So, again, Darren Steen from Fat Loss Lifestyle, thank you very much.